Hi, in this video we're going to show you some of the optional setup you can do for each of the 3D models. So in this example we're going to use the Dragon, and you can see the optional setup that you can do in this area here. So firstly you can assign it to a paddle, obviously you can assign it to one of the 11 available paddles, the 12th paddle is the info paddle which is reserved. So we can put the Dragon on all paddles if we wanted to. And here it is on paddle 1, 2, and 3, for example. We can auto scale the dragon, which the dragon is a bit big, so this will bring it down to a 200 by 200 by 200 box around the paddle. And so we can see that here. Now the dragon's a little bit smaller. And we can also auto position the dragon. So this will make the bottom of the dragon touch the bottom of the pedal, and it will also center the dragon in the center of the pedal. You have the option to have the dragon start invisible if you want to. Uh, obviously, you won't be able to see it, um, but then you can apply rules to it later on that make it visible. Uh, scaling, if we wanted to make the dragon smaller, we could. There we are, we've got nice small dragons now. And if it was a model that happened to have the dragon upside down, we could rotate the dragon and make him the right way up. In this case, we've just made him upside down. If you want more control over rotating in the other axes, you can do that via one of the rules called rotate. Now the info text can be fantastic for children to create modules where they can describe the models they've created and create like a project or a portfolio based on their work. So, I'll give you an example. Now when we run this, we can use the information panel, and we can see it's telling us this is a, dra a dragon. If we put a ninja on another pedal, then it would tell us this is a ninja, or tell us whatever we want it to, to tell us. So this information panel works exactly the same as in any other uh, module in the player or in the builder. And if you hit spacebar, it will zoom up the text to fill the screen. So we're going to take that rotation off now. And finally, you can change the texture. So the texture is currently the, the texture of a dragon, but if we change that to the texture of the earth, you'll see that our dragon is now looking like a, an earth dragon. So that can give you a a lot of possibilities for taking a single 3D model and making it look quite different. So the fantastic thing about the assigned to paddle is that it can also apply all the rules that are normally associated with, with, uh, with single objects across all the objects on all the paddles. So to give you an example of that, we're going to add in a ninja. And we're just going to put the ninja on paddle 1 and make all the dragons look at the ninja. So obviously paddle 1 looks a bit weird because it has the ninja and the dragon on it, but we can fix that too. So instead of applying the dragon to all paddles, we can simply assign them to all empty paddles. So the ninja's on paddle 1, so therefore it won't be added to paddle 1. It'll be added to paddle 2, paddle 3, and paddle 4 for example. And so now all of those paddles have the same rules applied, and so all of those paddles are looking at the ninja. This really looks fantastic in VR mode, where you can drag the ninja around and all the dragons keep looking at him. Great! I'm sure you'll find lots of uses for that. Have fun with imaginality!